Good morning. We're just packing up our stuff in the room and we're heading off to Universal, but there's lots of animals out. So we're just out on the balcony checking them out. We've been totally distracted. So we have a little zebra over here. That's our first time having a zebra up close. And we have a giraffe. It's just munching away over here. And there's also a giraffe back here that's just leaving. How cool is that? We were just saying we hadn't seen a zebra. Oh, cool. We really haven't been here at right this time of the day. Yeah, obviously this is a good time. But we had been saying we hadn't seen a whole lot of animals this trip, but then yesterday we were back at a different time in the afternoon and then also this morning. We wouldn't normally be here this time. And we've seen loads. It's great. Whoa. So we have just arrived at Royal Pacific and we're walking in. It looks... Not Portofino. Not Because what did I do, Rachel? I don't know why I can't get my head around what hotel we're staying in. Oh my god, look, it's got like a little river. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, there's like frogs the whole way down. It looks so nice, doesn't it? Oh, look at the reception area. Oh my god. This looks so nice. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, it smells lovely. <laughs> it smells so nice. Right, okay, I think we're checking in over here. Oh no, that's the vacation planning center. Concierge, luggage storage. I guess it's back here. Look at that um, fountain, that's so cool. Look like elephants and everything. Wow. Oh my God, this looks so nice. I'm so impressed. I guess this is check-in, is it? It doesn't say anything. I mean, I guess we wait here. So we just checked in with the lovely Tony. He was so nice. Um, he gave us some recommendations for City Walk later. And um, our room is ready, which is awesome. It's only like about um, quarter to 11, 11 o'clock or something. Oh no, it's, it must be late than that. It must be like almost 12 o'clock right now. Um, but that's still really good that it's ready right now for us. Oh, and we're right by the elevators. Yes, that's twice we've got lucky with that. Yeah. Oh, I love being close to the elevators. It's so nice not having to walk down a long corridor at the end of the night. Um, so yeah, we're only staying here for one night, uh, but we get our express passes. So we're pretty much gonna just drop all our stuff off at the room and head into the parks and use our express passes. But yeah, sorry, Rachel's opening the room. I'm missing the key moment here. <laughs> you excited? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I made sure I booked two beds. Oh yeah, so getting a bag here. Okay, here we go. Official first impressions of our very first universal room. Oh wow, oh I love the decor. It's so nice. Oh, we've got like a proper little desk. Nice big TV. Not as big as the Animal Kingdom TV, but pretty big. Oh, look, <laughs> they've got Fiji water. We need to pay for it. <laughs> we have our little Fiji generator water here. Of a generator. Oh, I love my generator. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, at least you've got some trees. <laughs> no animals, I don't think, venturing up to our um, oh, window. Cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, the decor is lovely, isn't it? Such a really nice little um, desk here. I'll do a little room tour while we are here and oh yes these sockets are what i'm living for we've got usb sockets and then two american plugs coffee machine oh coffee machine we've got a fridge that's going to store all our snacks okay. um so yeah we've got like glasses down here we've got coffee machine and then the little bits for the coffee machine and um, like i said the tv there nice lamp and we've got this drawer storage oh i like the like um leather strap things on these they're cool 
So there's three drawers either side of this and the fridge was just in there, like I said. It's a small fridge, but it will do. It's all we need. Um, so there, yeah, we've got decent side beds. They're about the same size, I think, as Animal Kingdom Lodge. Iron. Oh, we have an iron. Rachel has some things she needs to iron. We've got a little clock table here. And oh, look, perfect beside the bed. Two plugs, USB. We've got a drawer. Is there actually, is that a Bible? It is a Bible, oh my God, Holy Bible. I don't think I've seen a Bible in like a, a Disney resort before. Yeah, we have, have we? Bible Disney resort. Do we? Yeah, do we have one in Animal Kingdom? Oh, I didn't notice it. It's the same in Ireland, we always have Bibles. Um, and then we have a thermostat here and a light switch. Okay, Rachel is checking out the storage cupboard. We've got a luggage rack and an iron and an ironing board. Yeah. So handy because so we do have some things to iron. Although I don't think I brought the things with me that I need to iron. Um, and we've got our safe here as well. Really small safe, but I think you could probably get my size laptop in there anyway. Yeah, it looks like you'd get, yeah, you'd get a regular um, laptop or two in there plus your documents. And then some hangers and stuff as well. Coming over to the mirror. Oh, I love like it. The decor is just really nice, isn't it? Not a drawer. That is not a drawer. That is just a decorative okay, flower. <gasps> Ooh, amenities. We've got chips. cotton balls and chips. That's cute. And then um, a little box of tissues. So, what is that? A face bar. Sherka. Sherka. Body wash. body wash and um. hand and body cream. So I assume maybe there's something else in the bathroom, which we'll check out now. Um, yes. So we have... <laughs> okay, so... Shampoo and condition. Shampoo er. and condition. Er. I forgot the er. <laughs> and I assume that's like a, a body bar? Yeah. Bath bar. Oh, nice. nice. And let's see. Oh, the shower looks nice. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's just like, it seems like quite new. I don't know if they've been refurbed or just seems like really nice and fresh. Also got toilet here and this uh, toilet closes over. Um, huge mirror. It's always good to have a nice full length mirror. And then this was just where we came in earlier. So there's a handy little bit here actually that you could just throw some cases. Um, if you have big suitcases, we've only got our cabin. No, it isn't actually, you're right. There's not as much room like in the sort of living area as what we had. It is a little bit smaller, isn't it? They put more furniture. It probably is like not not that much smaller. It's just there's more stuff. Yeah, I do think we have, it's a bit wider, but um, I like having the nice table and everything. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there's a little reading lamp on the side of the bed. Um, let's see that. Oh yeah, cool. And then there's um, a big lamp here and then this like cool chair and a little table. Nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I love the wallpaper like with the flowers and everything. Just looks so pretty. Even from here, like it's real nice. You can just see the trees. Like so if you're sat in bed, like you're only gonna see these trees out the window and stuff. It's really nice. Very like Polynesian, isn't it? Yeah, that um, picture over there is quite Polynesian-y. Polynesian -y. And yeah, that is our room. Awesome, so we are gonna go grab the rest of our stuff from the car. We've just got, like I said, a cabin case. And uh, we just bought our food up initially because we thought if we our room wasn't ready, they might store it for us. We got so many snacks because we used up all our snack credits, so this stuff needs to be refrigerated. But luckily now we've got our own fridge, so we'll load all that in. And then we're gonna head to the parks. We're gonna get annual passes though on the way. Yoo-hoo! So, we, checked in as you've seen and then we came down to the lobby and there's actually a desk there where we were able to purchase dun, 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 annual passes so exciting so we actually went for one preferred pass and one seasonal pass because and um, the seasonal pass block out dates don't really affect us but the extra discounts on the preferred pass are really good and so one of us having that means that really both of us have it because if we're parking together, etc., if we're staying in the hotel together, we only need one pass to get that discount. So it works out pretty well because you save a good $100 between the two passes. Um, so yeah, we're actually taking a walk now from the hotel over to uh, City Walk and then we haven't even decided what park we're going to yet. We're gonna stop off at Cowfish and see if they will accept a reservation for later on today because they've heard it's pretty good. But we also got given some, um, like vouchers for some like Margaritaville and a few other places so we might like try them for drinks later too. 
Okay, so we're just taking this walkway now, which is like alongside this little river thing. Um, so our hotel is literally just behind us back here. We just come down the side of our hotel and now we're walking and apparently it's only like a five minute walk to City Walk, so we should be seeing City Walk pretty soon. We can like hear the rides and stuff. We've got like Dr. Doom's, uh, Dr. Doom's Fear Fall, is that what it's called? Um, it's just over to our left there. It's gone pretty dark now because we're under a bridge. There we go. Um, and we could hear the Hulk as well earlier, which is cool. You can also get a boat. So we've just got some boats going past now. We were told by Tony that um, if you get the boat, you get dropped off really close to Universal Studios. We're going to Islands of Adventure now, and actually we don't mind walking anyway, so uh, we thought we would walk. <laughs> you okay there, hun? <laughs> Poor Rachel's still not well. We've just come through security, and we're coming out now by Margaritaville, and then like Hard Rock is just over here. Our Islands of Adventure entrance is just here. We've got like the Chocolate Emporium here, Margaritaville right behind me, and that's where we came down just here. Oh my God though, we just saw a snake. It was only a little baby snake, but I'm terrified of snakes and it freaked me out so bad. I literally like my stomach just went, <gasps> Oh, where are we going? Do we need to go this way? Oh, we're gonna get to Cowfish, don't we? I don't know where Cowfish is. Okay. We're gonna go find Cowfish and just see if they'll take a reservation for later. Okay, so we're just at City Walk and we have located Cowfish. So we're gonna head over. Hopefully they'll let us make a reservation. It is a Thursday evening, so I imagine it'll be relatively busy tonight. Not insanely busy, but probably busy. Um, you can see like Cowfish has a couple of levels here. So we just went to the um, entrance of Cowfish and we made a reservation for later on this evening. It was so quick, she was able to do it really quickly and send us a text message confirmation. And now we're just making our way into Islands of Adventure. So we are here at the front of Islands of Adventure. We were just saying, we haven't come into this entrance in so long. Probably like three years, because I'm sure the last time we took the train over. Yeah, probably longer. Oh my God, it's so exciting. It's so nice to just be here, knowing that we have like two days here and we've got express passes. Oh, so good. So we have made it to Hogsmeade. We're just coming in. We're gonna head straight over to um, have a look at the new ride. We're not gonna ride it just yet, but we're gonna check it out. And then I think we're gonna go on to uh, Forbidden Journey because we've got express passes, so. Oh, I love this area so much. It's just amazing. The theming is just so good. And I just don't think any camera does it justice. Like, the scale of this place is insane. Oh, butterbeer. We gotta have butterbeer at some point. It's like just a rite of passage of being here, isn't it? <laughs> there it is, Hagrid's magical creatures. <laughs> We're gonna just go have a look, see what we can see. You actually can't see much from here nice at all. Nice. New ride looks awesome. Um, so like I said, we're gonna go on Forbidden Journey first, and then I think we're gonna go around and do the water ride. So uh, we'll start with Forbidden Journey. Looking forward to that. It's been a good while since we've been on this. Um, I think I said before, but last year we only did Horror Nights. We didn't come to Universal Park. So we haven't done any of these rides in like two years. So we just did a Forbidden Journey in the castle. My motion sickness is so bad. That ride is like really bad for motion sickness. But um, I can do it once, but then I'm done. It's definitely a one and done. Uh, we're just coming into Jurassic Park now. Oh, I love Jurassic Park. So many memories of this land from when we were here as kids. So I love coming here. I think we're gonna um, try and just eat something though because I'm quite hungry and hopefully that'll settle down my stomach after that. So we're gonna get the Nathan's Chili Dog combo and we're gonna just share. We have ordered a vanilla milkshake. So here's our hot dog. We waited quite a while for this. We've got a milkshake, we're just sharing. Um, we got our annual pass discount though, so uh, so we got 140 off 10%. It was 13.41. So we just had some lunch in the Cosmic Something Cafe. 
Cosmic Strip Cafe, I think. Or Comic Strip, a Comic Strip Cafe, that makes more sense. Um, it was okay. Uh, the, soft, the hot dog was quite small, actually. Um, but yeah, it was fine. We're gonna get an Auntie Anne's pretzel um, after a few rides because we're still hungry. And uh, we just shared a meal anyway. But yeah, it was a bit smaller than we were expecting. Um, they like some of the chicken, I saw like someone with a chicken nugget meal, that looks a bit better. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go now and get on Kong, which I'm excited for. We've only ever done this ride once, so we get to use our express passes. Oh, I didn't show you my lanyard. So I got a, a Jurassic Park lanyard. It has like two different sides to it. It says Jurassic Park on this side. Rachel went for Slytherin. She's all Slytherin today. In our lanyards, we have got our uh, hotel room ticket, which is our express pass, and we have our annual passes. So we've just like got them in. We've just got them in so that they have the scanner on both sides. See? Perfect. So it literally just started raining, like right after I stopped recording. And it's so sunny out, and it was so unexpected, but it's raining pretty heavy. Uh, but luckily we were just at Kong, so we've just come inside and scanned our express passes. So that was good timing. It looks like it's only going to be a quick shower because like, it's really sunny out. So as you can see, we went on rips on falls, got absolutely soaked, and then uh, we stopped and have, had an anti and uh, cinnamon sugar pretzel uh, just to dry off a little bit. We're just walking around now to go on Hagrid's creature coaster. I'm so excited! We've never done this before. I've like seen little bits of clips. We just saw the ride when we were around there at um, Harry Potter. But yeah, don't really know anything other than that you're on a bike or a sidecar and it looks kind of like a roller coaster type thing. So we'll find out when we get there. We just went on the Hagrid's Magical Creatures ride. Magical Coaster, I keep forgetting the name of it. Hagrid. Yeah, the new one. <laughs> and, um, oh my God, it was so good. And we had avoided spoilers and we were like, we just really enjoyed it. <laughs> so good. There were like so just some things that obviously, because we avoided spoilers, we just didn't know were gonna happen. So yeah, yeah it was so, it was better than what I thought it was gonna be. So yeah, I loved it. Definitely think that was a good replacement for Geo and Dragons and we loved Geo and Dragons, so. That says a lot, but really, really happy with that. Loved it. We're actually gonna head out of the park now and head back to the room and get freshened up uh, because we're gonna go for dinner, as we said earlier, at Cowfish. So we just wanna go back, have a nice hot shower, chill in the room for a bit, and then, um, yeah, then we'll head out for dinner. So we just popped back to the room and freshened up, had a lovely hot shower and now feeling a lot better. Um, and we're just getting into the lift to head back down to City Walk. Excited for cowfish? Yeah. For sushi. Is that your excited sushi dance? Oh, I like it. Your thing is called Bergushi. Bergushi? Yeah. <laughs> it's a cowfish kind of day. Build a fish. Oh, you build a fish. Oh. Hopefully, it's switchable. No. Oh, we're going upstairs. Your legs sore. <laughs> oh, it looks cool. which is the, um, what was it, marshmallow treat or something? It's basically the Rice Krispie treat. Um, no, like Rachel's just getting a little picture. Rachel, I need your head in there when you're ready for perspective. <laughs> it's so big. Are you ready? <laughs> it's massive. You got a picture? Yeah. 
Is it a good one? <laughs> Do you want to try it then? That, good enough for you? that is good enough for me. Now just send it to me. That's the big thing. Do you want to try the milkshake? There's people, there's people here like that are dying to know what this milkshake tastes like. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, can I try it? Tropical something, <laughs> and this was the firecracker roll, and they both look amazing. Oh, so close! I'm gonna go. Oh. <laughs> She's such a bad loser. She's just like run away from me now. And she's so funny. We're both incredibly competitive. But I think Rachel probably hates losing more than I do. She's so funny. I don't know where she's gone now. I think she's hiding on me. Anyway, I think we're going to Voodoo Dodo. Which will cheer her up after her terrible loss. So this is our first time at Voodoo Dodo. Apparently it's amazing. Smells like donuts. Oh wow, there's so many on the menu. So we're coming back into the hotel. It's such a quick walk back. It's about 10 minutes. Here we come. Lowe's. Royal Pacific. That's the name of the hotel we're at, hon. Royal Pacific. <laughs> yeah. Straight. 